been for you so far? Oh, it's been great. We all been working hard. And like, teams just been anxious to get back on the field just to show people what we can do. You know? Where do you feel like you've progressed the most this spring, personally? Um, pretty much blocking and um, just working on my technique and stuff like that. Coach Elliott was saying that you haven't quite put one on the ground yet, but you're carrying it pretty high, and it's only just a matter of time. Is that something that he's been preaching to you a lot? This oh yeah, he's been preaching on, on me like to start running low and just start, you know, stop running so high and just lowering my back when I'm going through the um, tackles. So you know, I'm gonna start working on that during this summer just to get better at that. So. Is that just like a mental thing, or is it just is it muscle memory? What? How do you get better at that? Pretty much like. It just gotta be a mental thing, and I say, and a muscle man. Yeah. And like, you know, you just gotta be, a, it gotta be a willing to do it. Like, you want to do it. You know, so. Your blocking technique. What do you do to change that, and what are you working on in particular? I'm um, pretty much just stay off my tippy toes and just like stay lower to the ground and start hint, like extending my arms because I got long arms and I gotta use that to my advantage. So. Are you on the orange or white team? I'm on the orange team. Who's your quarterback? Y'all are in trouble, Lawrence. Picking you then. Sir? Is that picking you then? <laughs> oh, yeah. What did you overall think of your year last year? Was it about what you expected? Was it better or, you know? Um, pretty much, um, it's about what I expected. Um, knowing that it was a running back, but I see that full of um, recipes to him. Um, I pray to the firm, but, like, when he left, like, I kind of expected that I was going to probably be in, like, some playing time. So, I trained and got myself, my mind mentally ready and prepared for this. What do you think you need to work on mostly, you know, this summer and going into the opener? Um, I would say it's just like my overall game, just to get it better. So, you know, just never settle for less, so I'm just keep working, kind of grind, and push myself to get better to what I used to be. Uh, how motivated or what motivated you, you know, in the off season mostly? Um, pretty much just like, you know, just like, I don't know, just like see what success brings. You know? So like, they just motivation and like they keep you pushing and like you want to keep being successful and never want to fail. So like, that's the motivation. MJ, you were so explosive last season. You feel like you, you know the offense better. You know where you're supposed to be, and, and does that help you a lot uh, compared to the, you know, last year? Yeah, last year I came in like I came in late. I didn't come in during like I was in the mid year, so it was kind of a lot on me. But you know, I kind of processed it through the year. But now, since I had this like this spring, and, you know, it kind of just coming in like it just, it's like it's like most of me like it's just easy. So. Would you say you're more of a patient coming back now? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yes, sir. Tony said that you're starting to fill out, but maybe not quite packing on the pounds yet. What are you weighing right now? Uh, 195. Is that, where do you want to be entering uh, the season? I really want to be like up to 200 or 210 or something like that. So. Okay. How different is the running back room without Adam there and has Tavian really kind of stepped into that vocal um, leadership role? Yeah, Tavian really stepped in. Like, with Adam leaving, it's like, you know, we're going to miss him, but, like, Tavon Feaster, he, he really stepped up and became a big leader for us. So, What's he done differently this year compared to last year? In terms of uh, pretty much just, you know, just motivation, motivating the whole um, unit and, like, pushing us and being by our sides and just, like, giving us knowledge. Yeah. Have you noticed Travis being more vocal out there during practices? Oh, yeah, Travis be a little vocal. He, he get on to the um, line sometimes, you know. And they ain't doing anything the job, but like, yeah, Travis been out there. He been more proactive too, so he been a leader also. During the course met. of last season, um, Trevor Lawrence, how, how did you see him develop as a, as a player and as a person and grow? What, what did you see out of him last year? Um, I see that he grew over. Like he got more confident, and like, like I can tell, like, I can say like the first games, first couple games when he got his start, he was kind of nervous, but like. Over the course of the season, he grew confidence and knew that he can do it. So that's why I feel like he got better. Like, he got confidence. When do you when do you feel like he, he arrived? Um, I really say like when he when he know he was on like had to take that starting role. So like ever since he took the starting role, it was like he had it. So. You've got a whole lot of different people on defense now. What's it like practicing against this new crew? Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, because like. With Christian Wilkinson now, they was like a 
like a like A1 defense. And like it was kind of amazing going against them. Like they made me better in with this arm um, defense. Like it really interesting because like we got a lot of young guys on it. But I feel like they really maturing and really getting to know the defense a lot more and they getting better each day. You having more success against this defense than last year? I said a little bit, but like, I don't know. <laughs> but they, they still good. Man. Aside from pride, uh, what do you have on the line on Saturday? Is it a steak dinner for the, for the winners? I don't know, the winner, but it's Saturday, we probably took a little day off or something like that. So, we all just, everybody trying to get that day off. So, I guess. Who do you think you, you model your, your running game after? Like, um, who's one of your, you know, um, I really looked up to, like, um, when Reggie Bush was at USC, where I feel like Reggie Bush. And, and pretty much it. That's it. And um, Tony Dorsett. The, um, the Hall of Fame. Way back. Yeah, and I, and I looked up, and I used to model my game after Barry Sanders also, so. But yeah, I watched him a little bit. Caught your eye on YouTube or something? Yeah. Um, you didn't play in the national championship game, right? Did you play in the game? Oh, no, sir. What, what was, was that motivation a little bit to get, you know, back to this season? I want to be able to play in a game like that? Yes, sir. Like, being on the sideline, seeing the atmosphere and seeing how intense can be, like, it really motivated me to get back to that stage so I can be able to play and just show what I can do in the big stage. How was that experience when you're sitting there and you don't know if you're going to get in or not, you know, come into the game or not get in the game? I mean, is that like sitting on pins and needles or? No, nah, like, you really just got to keep keep your focus and, like, always be on the sideline like you're going to get in and, like, train your mind like you're going to get in and be ready at any moment. You never know when your name might be called, so I always just train my mind just to be ready for that moment. Thanks a lot. All good? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.